thanks for joining me. It's Morgan here from Highland Cycles. Uh, coming to you with the first in our series of the Kenda Ibex test videos. Uh, these videos are sponsored by Kenda. Um, they didn't pay me, but they gave me free tires, so I'm going to call it a sponsored video. Um, 100%. Um, thank you, giant, massive thank you to Kenda USA uh, for sending us these tires uh, to test. We're gonna do a three-part series here on the Kendas. This first video is gonna be just us mounting them up, kind of talking about which mooses we're running, things like that, talking about the tires themselves. Um, and then we're gonna have some riding videos, and then we're gonna have a final video talking about the what we thought about them. Again, these are sponsored by Kenda. Thank you so much, Kenda, for that. Uh, we really appreciate it. Um, if you wanna make sure you see all the videos, go ahead and click subscribe now. Uh, and then hit that little notification bell so that you know when we upload the next videos. We'll try to get these done as fast as we can. Hope you guys enjoy it. Hey, it's Morgan here at Highland Cycles. And coming to you with uh, some awesome news. Kenda USA sent us a set of Ibex tires to try out. I'm super stoked. I've run an Ibex, but it's been a long time and on a different motorcycle. So super stoked to try this one out. Uh, we're going to put them... We're going to mount them up on a set of spare wheels for the KTM Daisy R250, uh, the 18 250XCW. I'm uh, going to take them to Sargent's this weekend and beat on them. So we're going to see how they hold up. We're mounting them up with a set of Nitro Moose um, Progressive Platinum Mooses. So yeah, stick with us. We're going to get that all mounted up uh, and then we're going to go give her a test. But uh, this video is going to be all about just getting them mounted, um, how they fit, all that good stuff. Um, if you guys like what we're doing here, uh, you want to make sure you see the test review at the end um, of our Sergeant's Weekend. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and get the little notification bell on so that uh, you know when we post our next video. Um, yeah, it's going to be awesome. So here we go. We're going to get these things mounted up. Everything okay? Everything's okay. <laughs> All right, uh, so to start, we're going to mount these things up uh, doing everything by the book from Nitro Moose. So Nitro Moose sells uh, this rim tape. It's actually the same rim tape that comes with their tubeless system, but um, they sell it with a little plug to block off holes. So anyway, here we go. We're going to put this rim tape uh, around this rim here. We've got a warp 9 rim. Uh, just a spare good rim. We're going to put this rim tape around there to keep the nitro loop from coming out. Got to clean the rim up really good, obviously. Um, otherwise, it won't stick. So I already did that. I think you guys can figure out how to clean the rim up. Brake cleaner works really good. I'm going to find the end of it. Want to make sure you go around at least twice. That way the rim tape is sticking to itself uh, as well as the rim. So it stays nice and good. I go ahead and cover the holes up now. Uh, I am going to use a rim lock on this, uh, but I cover the holes up and then I'll poke a new hole with a screwdriver to make sure, you know, to get the rim lock through. Um, but that way you keep the holes nice and small and hopefully less loop comes through the spokes and through the holes. All right, got that on there. Looks good. Got everything covered up. Got to go grab a rim lock, make a hole for that. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the new Platinum Progressive Moose uh, from NewTek. Uh, it's obviously a crazy gray color. And um, it's got a, definitely a different feel than the standard and the plushy or the softy. Um, it's, uh, they call it progressive because the foam is supposed to be progressive. So the harder you squeeze it, the more dense it gets. Um, kind of sounds like most foam, but anyway, um, it's uh, supposed to have a better feel initially, but then hold up longer. So we're going to grease this thing up with the nitro lube because, um, you know, we're going to test it like they want us to test it, but we are going to put more of it on there than what they recommend. They only send one tube. I still don't think that's enough. Everybody says it is not for me. So I'm going to put two on this uh, front one. So we're going to get that all lubed up. Ready to go, grab some gloves so we don't get it all over our hands. 
All right, so now let's talk a little bit about the Ibex tire from Kenda. Uh, there it is. Kenda Ibex. Uh, this is the front tire. Obviously, uh, it has a rotation direction on it. Uh, you can see it right there. Um, and you can tell it is asymmetrical as far as the way the pattern is. Um, it definitely would work better one way than the other. Um, this is one of their hybrid tires, so it's a super soft compound, but with grippy big knobbies. Uh, it's obviously made for hard enduro, enduro cross, things like that. Uh, I've never run a front one, I've run a rear, so I'm pretty excited to try this thing out. Uh, we're going to lube this up. The best way to do your mooses for mess sake is to put the lube inside the tire. Um, I do that, and then I actually still put lube on the moose because it helps it go in. And I don't care how dirty I get. Um, also, it leaves kind of a residue on the edges that helps you mount it up. So, I'm gonna get this uh, lubed up, It'll be good. I throw it poorly towards the trash and then. I lube up the moose. I know a lot of you guys out there are going to give me crap about not putting it all inside the tire. Whatever. This is how I do it. I work in a shop. I don't care how dirty I get. Um, part of who I am. So, I'm going to go like that. Jeez. Oh, the whole idea behind this lube is actually not for mounting. Um, it's all about keeping the moose cool because, as you can imagine, lots of heat builds up inside that tire as you're riding and it will get hot and the heat is what kills these mooses. So, um, I mean, hitting things really hard hurts them too, but heat is the big killer. So. Got that all lived up. This is the messy part if you do it like me, um, but not too bad. That fits really good. I'm happy about that. Uh, yeah, the older standard mooses, we were having trouble with those fitting. Uh, this one looks like it's going to be perfect, so. Yeah, take these gloves off. Get our moose racing. As to be expected, that was pretty easy considering uh, it's a brand new tire, brand new moose. That's because the Kenda Ibex is a super soft uh, tire. The carcass is soft, the knobs are soft, and the Platinum Moose fit great. So get that one done. Now we're going to do the rear, mount them up on Daisy, uh, and then we're going to go check them out. All right, now let's talk a little bit about the Ibex rear tire. So the you saw the front tire, super directional looking. The rear tire is less so. Uh, pretty symmetrical looking tire. Uh, a lot of volume in that tire. There's a whole bunch of space in there. Um, this is a 110, 118. And I don't, so there we go. 110, 118 Ibex, gonna go on Daisy for a sergeant's weekend. Hopefully at least two days, maybe three days of riding. Um, gonna mount up a platinum moose in this one too. So get these suckers on. There it is, Nitro NM18305 is the moose we're mounting in that 110-118 Ibex. All gray and platinum-y. Yeah! Hey look, 
everybody, it's Justin Monroe, the highlighter. What's up? <laughs> We're going riding together. Woo! What's happening, man? All right. We got the uh, Ivexes mounted up on our spare wheels. Going to put them on Daisy. And, uh, yeah, truck her up to Sargent's this weekend and test her out and all the gnarly stuff up there. Think we're ready to go play in the rocks hey thank you so much for watching really appreciate it that's the first in our three part series on the kinda ibex tire i uh, hope you guys like that um i'm working right now on editing the video of the riding and all the stuff we did up in sergeants so stay tuned for that make sure you get the little notification bell hit and uh, lit up so that you uh, don't miss any videos and we'll get right back to you hope you guys have a great day and i hope you get out and ride your dirt bikes